Hostile research station. You speaking. What is your business here? What? We haven't sent a distress signal? Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Really? The High Energy Research Lab? All right. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. What's inside? Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishina. Step forward. Scan is clear. One moment. Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the director. We'll take the back way. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh... Nishina was built four five years ago. Research team mostly works on experiments. What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Who's there? Oh, oh thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? What do you mean? Wait, how did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. We were studying a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. An artifact? You mean... The metallic ob... There's a fear! We should... Wait! He's back! 
All right, we're on our way up. Hughes out. I was just feeling it in the direct. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gas fire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. <sighs> this facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion this artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. What do you think we haven't tried? The kill switch on the control unit isn't responding. The explosion must have damaged the failsafe. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly, his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. We can't shut down the probe, but we might be able to adjust some of the other parameters. It's risky. We don't know what we're dealing with, but... <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into?
is it? Oh, oh, it's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and and. <sighs> what? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... <sighs> okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. to clear this out, assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just... I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was what? I heard the tanks rupture. The alarms... I jumped back into the control room. The door's sealed, but I was trapped. There was nothing. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed them. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... I think you may be right. That's what I get for trying to be nice, eh? Yeah, I hope so. All right. Yeah, it's never been field tested, but all yours.
What? Did you get lost in the hallway? Ah. Uh, right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at... Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. the distortion, please. Are you all right? So, the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. Try not to get lost in the hallway again. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Exactly. And when you shut down the experiment, the probability function will collapse. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe at least. The question is, which will you choose? If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe. It's not an easy decision, but I am grateful. Thank you. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day.
Don't touch the... Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. I can spare a few minutes. Beyond that, I am not your therapist. I think I still... Security terminals. 